now I'm going to go into some of my recent visions so that uh, you can see for yourself or, or feel what is getting ready to transpire. Um, recently, um, it's been very strong. I see a number two. Um, now, the first thing that I was thinking that it would mean was um, maybe 22. And it still could be 22. Um, so maybe something is going to happen on the 22nd or something is going to happen on April the 2nd. Uh, but um, uh, Gaia did shift on March the 22nd. This vision was something that I had in the early part of, uh, of March, probably mid part of March. So it really wasn't that long ago that I had this vision. I did write an article on starseeds.net. So uh, you can find the date that, that I had the vision there. I don't remember it offhand, the date, but it was prior to um, the March 22nd. Um, well, we're still here, even after Gaia did make a shift. She shifted for about maybe five degrees. Uh, so there was no cataclysms and no massive loss of life as to what the Dark Ones want to get everyone to believe and get fearful of. Do not live in fear. Let it go. Uh, now, I don't know about you guys, but I've been having a lot of twitching in my eyes and I guess it means that I'm getting a little overcharged so I need to go ground myself and one of the ways to ground yourself is um, an Epsom salt bath so um, this helps to discharge some of the uh, energies or you can ground yourself go out into nature and ground yourself into Gaia and this will help to discharge some of these energies now here's another vision that I, I've had uh, around the same time and what I saw was a gigantic vacuum cleaner held over Gaia and it was sucking so um, this to me, it could mean several things. Um, this is the big cleanup of the planet will be in full force uh, at this time that the dark ones and I uh, will be cleaned up completely by then. And this is going to happen in the month of April is what I've been told. Um, so I don't know if that came through correctly, what I'm saying, but this, the giant vacuum cleaner is saying that everything is going to be cleaned up. Um, so, and then we need to work ourselves on manifesting the cleanup of this planet. So that's going to be happening too soon. So we need to work on that. So when you meditate, please manifest um, the cleaning and healing of Gaia and all of her beautiful beings. Do you know that the dolphins um, in the Gulf are uh, sick and dying, and all and they're they're the they are the um, keepers of the oceans of the water and the whales and we are we are the the keepers of the land you know the angels here the earth angels so um it is we're they're the stewards of the water of the oceans and they keep it in balance and we keep the land in balance and supposed to so we're as guardians we are the guardians and we're supposed to be helping uh, Gaia out okay instead of allowing the abuse to go on fracking by the way is um, is I can go through a lot of things of what's going on but anyway let's go with um, positive positive stuff here another vision I saw is a bull charging towards me and on the back of the bull was a goddess of pure gold with many jewels there was ro rubies and emeralds and diamonds and sapphires and other precious stones. It was, I mean, she was beautiful and she was smiling and sitting in a lotus position. So this tells me, and you can, you know, take it whatever, I mean, whatever feels that it comes to you, the vision. Um, I feel that this is the prosperity program, which is supposed to be coming into full effect when Taurus is uh, here. And so I know that we're getting ready to come into Taurus. Um, so I think maybe Taurus will be May or, or 
sooner, um, maybe the mid part or late part of April. Um, so that's going to be soon, friends. You see that um, things are starting to progress pretty um, fast. Now, uh, another vision I was shown, I was given a little tiny peephole. I'll stick my eye in it. Of course, this is my third eye and when I'm doing this meditation. My third eye goes, I walk up and go to look inside of this peephole. And I was allowed to see the 5D world. Oh my goodness, it was absolutely breathtaking. I felt the love and the beauty and the colors were so rich and so beyond anything I have, I have ever dreamed of. It really was like a fantasy painting come alive. Um, then I had another vision and I saw Gaia with a massive amount of fire around her. Uh, but the fire was pink and violet and it was dancing, dancing all around her like it was alive. And it really was very beautiful and very strange as well. And I could see the oceans and the lands and they were all consumed in the flames, but the flames did not burn. They were massaging her. So I believe that this vision means that the healing of the light workers is working and she has been giving the healing rays of love and light to restore her to health. Um, we still have a long way to go to heal our precious planet and the beings here on the planet. That means all beings. Uh, we can do it, my angelic friends, my precious, precious, precious love. We are the stewards of this earth and we can do it. I do want to apologize that I use a robotic voice on so many of my videos, but it is so much faster than me reading to you or discussing things with you. Um, because doing, doing in the videos do take a lot of time and the only way I can share so many with you is by being able to use the robotic voice. So you see my beloved ones, that is, really the reason for the robotic voice it is not to uh, make you go crazy or hate it or anything like this but it will or make me anonymous I don't care I'm not afraid of anyone I am not I am so divinely protected and so I am you know I love God God is within us all and we all none of us have anything to be afraid of so it's not because I'm trying to hide my voice or anything like this. Um, you know, I did slow down the robotic voice because it was easier to understand. At first it was speaking too fast and I would listen to it and I was like, mm, that was a little bit too fast. What did they say? So I slowed it down a little bit. So if it's too slow, I'll speed it up just a little bit. So let me know. I don't mind. I, I try to answer as much of your emails as I can. It's just... I'm trying to get so many things done.